Coming up on 6.30 on WKYT This Morning, after a Central Kentucky woman is found dead, her father says he thinks he knows what happened. A historic Southern Kentucky restaurant is a complete loss. I was devastated, devastated for the people, for their families. How the community is stepping up to help the employees of Weavers. And President Obama proposes a billion dollar lifeline to help Appalachia, where coal jobs have vanished. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning from the WKYT News team. So good to have you along. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Hopefully you recovered after, you know, Super Bowl Sunday, staying up a little bit, maybe past your bedtime. I know I've... I think I've recovered finally. Trying to get back uh, on track yes. here. Yeah, and then the disappointment of the, the groundhog yesterday and all of that. You know, let's check in with Micah right now. He's in our first alert weather center. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Disappointed in what he called for, the bite. Yeah, we don't want no well, more We want spring. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, the other one, it won out uh, in California, bit the mayor. He wasn't too happy, was yeah. he? The mayor was not happy. <laughs> I think we have that video coming up. Uh, but anyway, here's the look outside. We have the clouds laying around. And look, these clouds are going to be moving on out. We'll have a mixture of sun and clouds today and also look for better temperatures. Now, it won't feel great, but at least we're getting better. I mean, that's really the only thing we can ask for is a little progress around here. 23 degrees in Richmond. We're at 23 there in Jackson. You see, it's really chilly outside. Planning out your Tuesday, we get toward the afternoon, upper 30s, maybe around 40 degrees down in southern zones, but we'll have that mixture of sun and clouds. It gets better tomorrow out ahead of our next system. And our next system is Wednesday night into Thursday morning. That's when you look for more snow in the forecast, but how much are we expecting this time around? I'll show you that coming up in about 10 minutes. Okay, see you then. Here's the latest from WKYT. Well, the family that operates a popular Laurel County restaurant that was destroyed by fire says they will rebuild. We were reporting live this time yesterday morning from Main Street in London as crews were working to try to contain that fire at Weaver's Hot Dogs. But the fire also damaged the clothing store next door. And now the community is stepping in to try to help both businesses. WKYT's Mark Barber is at our live desk this morning to explain how. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Bill and Rebecca. Just a few hours after the large fire destroyed Weavers, donations started pouring in for the 25 employees who lost their jobs. Already, a GoFundMe page online has raised $980 for them. They lost their jobs to smoke and flames early yesterday morning when a fire destroyed the iconic restaurant at the corner of Main and 6th. Smoke from the large downtown fire also heavily damaged the next door clothing store, Bob's Ready to Wear. The businesses sat side by side for 60 years. Weavers has been well known and well loved for its chili dogs since 1940. Many people say it was much more than a restaurant. It was a part of London's identity for 75 years. The mayor says the city will jump in to help the owners and their employees with whatever they need. While donations are already pouring in online, small business owners are also pitching in. The owner of Posh Boutique on Kiwi Road says it was hard to see the two businesses go down, so she is donating part of her sales on Thursday and Friday to help both businesses. It took a toll on me. It's weird seeing a well-known place go down like that. Sure. They're part of our family. They're in trouble, and we're here to help. While investigators are still trying to figure out what started the fire, Weaver's owner says he will rebuild. If you're looking for more information on how to help, visit our website, WKYT.com, for a link to their GoFundMe page. From the live desk, Mark Barber, WKYT. All right, Mark, thank you very much. And this morning, we're tracking a crime alert after an overnight home invasion in Lexington. This happened about 2 o'clock this morning at a home off Lakeshore Drive. And the homeowners say their dogs helped foil the crime. WKYT's Hillary Thornton is live with the details of this crime alert. She's at Lexington Police Headquarters. Hillary? Good morning, Bill. The couple says they were asleep inside their home on the corner of Lakeshore and Norburn Drive when they heard someone breaking in. Police say it happened around 2 o'clock this morning. Officers say at least one person broke in through the basement door, and they say that door was locked. The homeowners say the suspect then tried to open their bedroom door when their two dogs started barking, scaring away the intruder. However, police say they were still able to make off with a few items from inside the home before running out the front door. Now, thankfully, no one was injured in this home invasion, and police are continuing to investigate. Live in Lexington, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. 
Hillary, thank you. And new this morning, a man broke into a Lexington gas station, but police say his method made getting away difficult. Police say someone smashed open the door at the Marathon on Paris Pike a little after midnight this morning, and he then crawled through some metal bars to get into the business. Police say he tried to steal the entire cash register, but, well, it wouldn't fit through those bars. So he left without stealing anything. Police are now reviewing surveillance video. Could have called that one. Well, investigators have identified a woman found dead in Montgomery County, but how she died is still a mystery. 22-year-old Katrina Craver's body was found Friday night on Nest Egg Road near Jeffersonville. Her father says she and her boyfriend got into a fight. He thinks she walked out into the road and was hit by a car. I still can't. I still can't believe she's gone. And I still can't believe whoever hit her just left her there to, you know, die. Investigators say Craver did have head trauma, but they have not said how she died. Well, some men accused in a violent home invasion in eastern Kentucky are still on the run this morning. The crime happened at a Knott County home in Jamestown Village. Police say four men forced their way into the victim's home, hit the woman with a gun, and then handcuffed her to another man in the house. They stole a cell phone and a set of car keys. New this morning, state police say a missing Madison County man has been found safe today. Curtis Rose of Waco was spotted around 3 o'clock this morning in Cabell County, West Virginia. A golden alert had been issued when he disappeared on Sunday. His daughter says he suffers from dementia and has disappeared once before. Rose said to be in good health this morning. His family is now headed to West Virginia to pick him up. A Nelson County armed robbery caught on camera. Bardstown police say a gunman went into Thompson Food Mart and pointed a gun right at one of the clerks. The man got away with cash before he left and no arrests have been made. Police, though, are hoping that someone will recognize the man in the video. Well, President Barack Obama has sent Congress a record $4 trillion budget that would boost tax credits for some families and the working poor, but also raise taxes on the wealthy. The blueprint for the 2016 budget year that begins October 1st represents a 6.4% increase over estimated spending this year. House Speaker John Boehner says Obama has laid out a plan for more taxes, more spending, and more Washington gridlock. Well, parts of eastern Kentucky could potentially stand to benefit from the president's new budget proposal and includes more than $3 billion worth of tax credits to redevelop abandoned coal mines. The money would go to states in $200 million increments over five years. Kentucky's Republican candidates for governor will be answering questions from the Kentucky Association of Realtors later today. James Comer, Hal Heiner, Matt Bevan, and Will T. Scott have been invited to speak to the association at the embassy suites in Lexington. The crowded Republican field has a little over three months to separate themselves from the pack before the May 19th primary. Well, a big battle is brewing about how beer is distributed around Kentucky. House Speaker Greg Stumbo has proposed a bill that would prohibit breweries from owning beer distributors. Anheuser-Busch already owns a distributor in Louisville. Under the bill, anyone who has an out-of-state malt beverage license could not have a distributor's license in Kentucky. Locally owned brewers say the bill would help make sure that their beer makes it to store shelves around the Commonwealth. We got into the business because we're passionate about beer and making beer. Uh, we don't want to be a shipping company. We don't want to be a distributor. Anheuser-Busch says the bill would put its Kentucky distributing jobs in jeopardy. Well, if you're wanting to buy something besides flowers or chocolate for your Valentine, here's quite the unique idea. Uh, the Wolf Run Animal Sanctuary over in Jessamine County is offering photo shoots with wolf hybrids. Right. Uh, for a donation, you and your sweetheart can have your picture taken with the animals. The sanctuary manager says it is something creative they can do to help the animals they care for. It's like every time we turn around, there's a new expense, uh, whether it's grooming or a vet bill or just buying food, getting toys for these guys, anything like that. If you'd like to book a photo shoot at Wolf Run, we have the information on our website at WKYT.com. How romantic, right? I wonder if that wolf hybrid shows its teeth in the picture. <laughs>
Uh, probably could. Maybe. <laughs> Speaking of Valentine's Days, uh, guys, if you want to get the girl, try bringing flowers to her mother. A new Associated Press <laughs> WE TV national poll finds that six in ten young women think their mother's approval is extremely or very important when they're thinking of getting serious with someone. Four in ten young women say they would consider breaking up with a guy if mom did not like him. So, you know what they say. If mama ain't happy, <laughs> nobody happy. Nobody's happy. Pretty right? much is true to life, right? <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, try to uh, be sure you have that approval. All right, 6:39. Our time on WKYT this morning. We have a lot more news on the way for you. Yep, including this story coming up on traffic, right? Yeah, let's uh, go let's to see. Officer Don. That's what they want to do right now. We're ready <laughs> to go. Hey, Don, good morning. Hey, good morning. I was, I was putting a record on the turntable, so I think they were oh, okay. maybe freaked out that I wouldn't be ready for you. Yeah. It's my fault. You know. Hey, we're off to a great start this morning. There are no wrecks right now in the city, but we have some leftover patches of ice that you might have to deal with. There's a big patch of ice on the inner loop of Manowar. I found this out myself this morning between Richmond Road and Alumni. That's one place to be careful. I can attest to that. I get a live look outside. At Broadway and High Street, where traffic looks pretty good, no problems there. On the north side, North Broadway, in good shape too, headed toward downtown. And of course, we'll keep you up to date with our Waze map as we get a look at live drivers on their way in and around the circle this morning. Just a couple of stalled cars, uh, but normal traffic flow around Lexington. Now back to you in the studio. All right, glad you didn't wipe out in that slick spot, Don. Thank you very much, and it's good to have you with us at 6:40 now. And more news on the way here on your Tuesday on WKYT. Some video so good we had to show it to you again. Coming up, Amir. Close and personal interaction with a furry rodent. Like I said earlier, he is not happy. All right, current temperatures in the 20s this is a cold one this morning. Next 48 hours look pretty good, but you can see at the bottom of your screen more snow in the forecast. I'll show you when that falls coming up next.